Good evening, Mr. Hersey. Well, hello there, Mr. Cornelius. It's a pleasure to be on your show. I appreciate that, Mr. Hersey. Please, call me John. Sure, let us begin. I'll keep it simple. What was your goal when you initially wrote Hiroshima? Well, immediately after the bombing, naturally many journalists wanted to report on it. The statistics, number of deaths, things like that. I wanted to go deeper into the matter, reveal the true nature of the bombing. Hmm, please continue. I wanted to reveal how awful it was beyond the statistics, interview survivors, hear their horrible stories and rip back the veil of statistics and show how horrible the atomic bomb really was. I wanted people to see the true cost of using such a weapon and the massive loss of life. Hmm, I'd say that's a noble cause. It really is hard for the weight for such an event to kick in when all you receive is statistics. People need to hear those stories. Otherwise, who's to say the bomb won't be dropped again? My sentiments exactly. Furthermore, I wanted to shine light on the aftermath. I wanted to reveal how even left on their own, abandoned by the Japanese government, and even in the midst of death, that this community came together to survive these atrocities. This is beautiful, John. Anything else you want to add as far as motivations go? Yes, actually, I wanted to reach the American people, reach beyond our hubris and great sense of nationalism to show the value of the Japanese people. It's just as valuable as ours. That's why I gave a bit of context to each person I interviewed. I wrote about their occupations, their homes, their friends, families, all those things showing in their names, showing what was lost on August 6th of 1945. Well, I can only imagine how the public reacted. Speaking of which, that was my next question. What was the general reaction of the public? Was there sorrow, outcry, horror? Just what did happen after you published your book? Honestly, Mr. Cornelius, there were some very polarizing and conflicting reactions. Do go on. Well, of course, a lot of people were horrified. Horrified for the lives that were lost horrified for what came next for the survivors, and horrified about the dark future ahead. I can imagine why. Others were prideful, proud of what the bomb had achieved, and happy to hear the direct accounts from survivors. Hmm, I can't say I have a comment on that. Others got a sense of hope from the book, seeing how the community came together to help each other. As much as they could, that was undeniably inspiring. I absolutely agree. As a whole, though, dread, horror, and guilt were the general reaction. The event was so brutal, so unforgiving. Reading any of it, just beyond the statistics, takes a really tough stomach. Well, that's all of our time, Mr. Hersey. Thank you for coming. You've given the American public much to think about. The pleasure's all mine, Mr. Cornelius. It's always a pleasure to be able to tell the story through the eyes of the survivors. Thank you, it was my pleasure.